In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add these beautiful shimmer loading effects to different widgets within your Flutter application. We're going to be taking a look at how to add this beautiful shimmer loading effect to any widget within the widget tree and to toggle it programmatically. And this is not only going to work for the card widget that I'm showing you, but for any other widgets that you decide to make and then add this loading animation to, such as list view, different buttons, images, and stuff like that. So with that said, let's get into the video. But before we begin, I'd quickly like to mention the links to all of the resources that I mentioned within this video, as well as the link to the source code can be found in the video's description down below. So feel free to take a look at it if you're confused at any point. With that said, let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to be taking a look at are the packages or dependencies that we're going to be using to build our project. And the only dependency that we're using is going to be Redacted. And Redacted is an excellent package. Again, link to this will be down in the description below that automatically generates a loading widget in the type of a shimmer animation for any widget that you give it. So I'm going to take this and then come to my pubspec.yaml file within my Flutter project and add this under the dependency section like so. And with this done, that's pretty much it. Before I actually begin running the application, one quick thing that I'd like to do is just clean up the code. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll create a new folder, call it pages, underneath which I am going to add a new page and I'm going to call this home underscore page dot dart. Then within this file, I'll create a stateful widget and I'm going to call the stateful widget home page. And then here where we have the build function, I'm going to return a scaffold. With this done, that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. I'll come back to my main dot dart file. I'll remove this corresponding my homepage class that we get by default when we initialize an empty flutter project. And here I'm going to set the home property to home page. With this done, I will start running the application on the actual simulator that you're seeing on screen. And once the application is running, then I will resume the video. Welcome back everybody. So as you can see, the application is now running on the simulator. So before we begin adding any loading effects, let's do one thing. Let's quickly add the actual UI elements that we'd like to see so that we can actually add loading transitions to them. So to do this, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is coming to my lib folder again and creating a new folder here called widgets. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to be creating a widget, which I'm going to be calling product card. So let's quickly do that. And basically, I'm going to be showing you how can we then basically add the shimmer effect to this product card. So to create our product card widget, it's going to be very simple. All I'm going to do is basically create a stateless widget. I'm going to call this product card. And then where we see the build function here, I'm going to be returning a card widget like so. And then after this, the next thing that I'm going to do is basically copy and paste all of the other stuff in. So I'll copy all of the stuff that we need to add to our card like so and paste it in. Since this is not required or necessary for the purposes of this tutorial, this is just basically outlining how our actual product card looks. And then secondly, the thing that I'm going to be doing is basically defining all of the properties for this product card that it requires, such as the name of the product, the price and the image URL. And then here I'm going to do the following, which is to say that all of these are going to be named arguments that are going to be required and passed in through the constructor. So once this is done, that's pretty much all we have to do. So now we can use this. So I'll come to my home page. And within my home page, I am basically going to firstly define a list of products. So let's copy it, come back and paste it here like so. And every product has a name, price and an image, as you can see. And then I'll come to my scaffold. I'll give it a body. The body is going to be a safe area widget, which is going to have a child of grid view dot builder. And here we can define our grid delegate and the rest of the stuff. So firstly, let's define our item builder. For my item builder, it's going to be very simple. I'm going to go ahead, define a function. This function will take in the context and the index of the item that's being built. And then here we will return our product card. If you remember like so, we have to give it a name, price and image URL, which we'll get in just a bit. And then after this, also for my item builder, I am going to here say the following, which is that we are going to extract our product from our actual products list that we have defined up. So I'm going to say final product is equals to, and then what are we going to say here? It's going to be the product list and then the index that gets passed to us. Then here I can do the following product name can be extracted by doing product name. And then I can add an exclamation mark at then, then I'll just copy and paste these here. And I'm also going to paste it here. Um, and then after this, I'm just going to change the price to be the price key and the image URL to be image URL. And finally, we can define our grid delegate. I'll just copy and paste it in. I already have a 
tutorial on my channel for grid views if you want to learn how to work with them. And we are going to get an error, but we'll fix it in just a bit. All we have to do is come to our gridview.builder and we also need to give it an item count which will correspond to our products list and whatever its length is and that's pretty much all we have to do with this let's restart our application and it's giving me an error saying null check operator used on a null value and the reason for that is because this needs to be image so with this let's restart our application and there you go we can see our card and our card is showing all of these different products so now what I'm going to be doing is showing you how we can add the shimmer animation to it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is basically come to my scaffold and on my scaffold, I am going to add a floating action button and this will be of type floating action button like so. Once this is done, it's going to have an own pressed callback function. So what happens when we basically press this button, as you can see, it's here. I'm going to give it a child, which is going to be icon just to make it appear more better on the screen and then within the on pressed i will have set state being called where i'm going to trigger the is loading property to be set to true or false depending upon whatever its state previously was so within my underscore home page state i'm going to create another value and i'm going to call this bool is loading and set it to false to begin with and then when we press on this button we basically switch the value so is loading is equals to the opposite of is loading and once this is done, if I go ahead and then print is loading to the console like so and open up the terminal just to show you guys how it looks. Go to the debug console. If I press here, you can see it's saying true, false, true, false. So it's switching between true and false. So it seems to be working as intended. So now the next thing that we have to do is basically tell the product card, hey, do you need to show the actual loading animation or do you show the actual widget? So to do that, I'll come to my product card and here I'm going to define another Boolean value and this is going to be called is loading, like so. And once this is done here, I'm going to do required this dot is loading, like so. Then I will come back to my home page, scroll down to where it says product card and here I'm going to set is loading to the is loading value. Now we can press on this button and this actual state will be actually available within our product card. So now we can actually change the code a little bit to add the actual shimmer animation here. So to add the shimmer animation, it's pretty simple. Whatever widget you want to add it to, for example, I'm going to be adding it to the whole card. You just basically at the ending bracket, add a actual function call. And what the function is called, it's called redacted and then you pass it the context and whether to redact the actual widget or not so if redact is set to true it'll instead of showing the widget show the shimmer loading widgets for the actual widget otherwise it'll show the normal widget so i'll set this to is loading and that's pretty much all we had to do so with this done let's let's actually try to test it out so let's come here let's press our actual button and nothing seems to be working as you can see welcome back everybody so i was able to figure out what the issue was we actually had to add the redacted callback to the actual column widget because those are the widgets under the column which we want to basically add the loading animation to so our images and our text and everything like that so as soon as you do that then everything should be fixed so if i do command save as you can see now it's showing me the loading animation for all of these different widgets if i press on this button it stops if i press on it again so it starts to show the loading animation so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope that you learned a thing or two about how to implement these beautiful loading animations within your flutter application using the redact package now if you'd like to basically apply this to any edge widget tree all you'll basically have to do is chain this dot redacted function to whichever widget you'd like to generate the actual shimmer or skeleton animation for and it'll work out of the box for example if i just like to show the loading animation for the actual price um, and the actual text for the actual widget, then I can come to the internal column and add the actual redacted function call here. And then the only loading animations shown are for the actual price and actual text. Otherwise, if I want to make the whole widget have the loading animation applied to it, then I'll come to the bottom column or the column that encompasses all of the actual widgets that are within my card, add the actual or chain, I should say the redacted function here, and then do command save. And there we go. It's working as intended. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them for you. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.